Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a series of different curves adjustments to enhance a portrait by boosting tones, by enhancing the eyes and even adding some digital makeup. This is my start image here and if I flick back to the finished image you can see how we've given the whole image a bit more punch and we've added this digital blusher, we've enhanced the lips and improved the iris and added this purple makeup around here. And this is all done using curves adjustment layers. So I'm going to start by going to Selective Curves Before and then I'm going to access my Layers panel by going to Window Layers where I can hit F7. And we're going to use Adjustment Layers for all of these curves edits. So we can click the Create Adjustment Layer icon here at the bottom of the Layers panel and choose Curves. And that will add an Adjustment Layer above my Image Layer. And then I'm going to start by making an S-shaped curve by creating two points on my curve line. I'm going to click on the line and drag up to create one point up here in the highlights and then I'm going to click down here and drag down to create a second point and you'll see how this boosts the tones and gives us a much more punchy result. Now I can go to target different colour channels using the RGB drop down here so I'm going to choose the red channel and I'm going to drag down on the red channel to remove some of that red and add cyan and this this helps to give me a bit of a cross-processed look. So I'm going to drag down to about there. And I'm also going to go to the blue channel and drag up slightly on the blues. And then I'm going to pin this part of the curve line back down to its starting point just by creating a couple of points there to set the top half of that line. So we're only adding the blues in the shadow tones. And I'm happy with that. I think we'll go back to the RGB channel and just tweak that slightly to add a touch more contrast by dragging the highlights up. If I toggle that adjustment on and off, you can see that's a dramatic change to our image. And of course, because we're using adjustment layers, I can tone down the effect with the opacity settings up here. I can toggle the layer on and off and I can access the curve settings at any time simply by double clicking this icon here to bring me back into the curves dialog box. Next I'm going to add a second curves adjustment layer in the same way by using the create adjustment layer icon and this time I'm going to create another S-shaped curve simply by making one point up in the highlights again and another point down in the shadows and obviously this is going much too far but I'm only interested in the iris here because that's the part of the image that I want to adjust so I'm happy with that. Now I can highlight the layer mask thumbnail here and then hit command or control and I that's command I on a Mac control I on a PC and you'll see that will invert the mask to black and hide that curves adjustment we just made we can then bring the adjustment back just in the areas that we want by using the brush tool I can paint with white while that mask thumbnail is highlighted to reveal that curves adjustment so can grab the brush tool, set foreground colour to white, choose a soft edged circular brush tip like that one and I can use the square bracket keys on my keyboard to resize my brush tip and then I can simply paint over this area around the iris to, re to reveal that stronger contrast setting around this part of the image and if I toggle that layer on or off you can see that's the before and that's the after. If I just zoom in slightly closer perhaps with command or control and plus that would give you a better idea of how that setting is affecting the iris. Next I'm going to add another curves adjustment and we'll double click the layer name there and we'll call this eye makeup. We're going to use this to add a hint of blue around the eyes. So I'm going to go to the channel color drop down here and choose blue and I'm going to manipulate the blue curve line. We'll drag that point in. I'm just going to drag a few points around here to adjust the blue and I think something like that is working well and once again I can invert the layer mask thumbnail here with command or control and I and then let's just hide that panel for now then we can grab the brush tool set white as our foreground color and paint in to reveal that change in color around the areas that we want so I'm just painting quite roughly around the eyes like this and of course the effect is looking too strong at the moment but we can lower the layer opacity to tone it down a bit so I think somewhere around about 55% is working well. 
I'd also like to make the lashes a bit more intense. So I'm going to add another curves adjustment layer and just drag down to darken the image. Then I'm going to hit Command or Control and I and that will invert the mask. You can see by default the mask is highlighted so you don't need to highlight the mask every time. If it's already highlighted just hit Command or Control and I to invert the mask. Grab the brush tool and again paint with white. So I'm going to paint with white over the lashes here just to make them more intense. Around these areas here, perhaps around the edge of the iris as well, just to darken down those tones. Let's do the same with this eye over here. And again, I can toggle the layer visibility on or off to check how that's working. So I'm just going to toggle that on or off. And you can see how that's making those eyes a bit more intense. Perhaps we could lower the layer opacity again to tone down the effects. So I'm going to bring it down to about 43%, I think. Next, we're going to add a touch of blusher to the cheek. So let's add another curves adjustment layer. And in fact, let's just rename that layer below. We'll call it lashes. And then we'll call this layer cheeks. Then I'm going to go to the RGB drop down again. This time we're going to choose the red channel and drag upwards to add red. And then we'll go to the green channel and drag down to add magenta. And again, hit Command or Control and I to invert the layer mask thumbnail there. Grab the brush tool and we'll just paint with white around the cheeks around here to add our digital brush blusher. If we go wrong, you can see I've painted over an area here that I don't want. I can hit X to flip my color to black and then paint to add black to the layer mask to hide the effect in that area. Then hit X to flip back to white and then continue painting to add my digital blusher around these areas. And again, let's tone down the effect by lowering opacity. And finally, I'm going to add one more curves adjustment layer for the lips. So again, we'll up the reds and perhaps also just go back to RGB and add a touch of contrast like that. And again, highlight the mask, hit Command and Control and I, grab the brush tool and paint with white to reveal that curves adjustment over the lips and you can see how we can make those lips a bit brighter and a bit more colourful. And as before I think we'll just lower the layer opacity to tone down the effect. And let's just call this final layer lips and that's my finished image. Let's just take a quick look back through the layers that we've used. So this was our starting point. We used a first curves adjustment layer to add some cyan and to make the image more punchy. We enhanced the iris. We added some eye makeup. We improved the lashes by darkening the tones around that area. We added our digital blusher over the cheeks and finally we gave the lips a bit more punch. And that's the finished effect. Thanks for watching.